Mark Elam, LBW to Hashan Tilakaratni, part-time bowler, brought on for his first over, imploring Peter Parker to give that. And Peter Parker does exactly right, because... It's well played. Croft uh, looking for two, Fairbrother not interested at all, and I think that's uh, probably right. They won the game. Ten stuff. Lovely shot by Neil Fairbrother, hit straight down the ground for six. That's what Alan Board has been saying. Fairbrother's not all nudges and nurdles, he can hit straight when he needs to. What a time to play the biggest shot of the match. Taking the bowler on straight down the ground, as we've been talking about, and gets the major reward for it. and uh, Fabra has only got one off it trying to wait wasn't he trying to wait and get it to uh, finer and maybe get Fabra rather thinking about uh, doing something a little bit different that's the 200 up for England rather than going straight down the ground which uh, could cost you a boundary make him think to go inside out eight to win England need Robert Croft has been in this situation for England before in New Zealand. Christchurch, he hit the winning runs in a one-day international. Alan! Oh, I think that's a chance. I think that was a chance, and I think Croft will get two for it, and he could so easily have been out. Oh, that's a good ball. That is a good ball. A fast Yorker just outside off stump. What's the batsman got to do here, Alan? He's got to stay still. If he starts jumping around against a quality uh, fast bowler, especially as a tail ender, you get yourself in, in trouble. He's just got to stand still and bat on ball. They'll get a one. Croft says 2-2. Two, two. And Fairbrother's coming back for two. England need three off four balls. And Croft looking to hit straight and staying still. Tremendous shot. Just held his ground at the crease and hit the ball where it was. Beautifully into the gap. That's exactly what he's got to do. Fairbrother and Croft have a little chat in the mid wicket. Here's Vars again. Got an inside edge on that, and it's going out for the vacant uh, mid wicket area. It could go for four. It's uh, not needed because Robert Croft has got three, and England have won this game by four wickets with just three balls to spare. Closer than they would have liked, but they are indebted to the man on the right of your screen, Neil Fairbrother, who has played a masterful innings. 67, not out, Neil Fairbrother. He's worked the ball around in uh, quite a wonderful way. And he's seen England through to victory. With the aid of Robert Croft. Smiles all round. Boy, that was some performance from Neil Fairbrother. Unbeaten with 67 and a sure sign, I think, that he's back in the frame to be in England's World Cup squad come the start of the English summer. He is a marvellous one-day player. He works the ball around when he has to, but he also can hit uh, shots like the straight six down the ground. And that, of course, was the killer for the Sri Lankans. Nick Knight, I thought, played nicely. Alex Stewart, too. Graham Hick as well, though one or two of the England players perished uh, a little sloppily, perhaps, when things were going very well at the start of the innings. The Sri Lankans shrewdly led, as ever, by our 